Hello friends, I am so happy to meet you all once again through this video. First of all, I wish to thank you all for giving a huge response to my first video on equalization levy. In continuation with that, in this video, I will be explaining about what is the purpose of introduction of equalization levy in technical aspect as well as within example. Explanation only to section 9 subsection 1 subclass 1 of Income Tax Act 1961. In case of your business, all operations are carried outside India and income arising out of that operations will not be taxed for the purpose of a non-resident. In other words, a non-resident will be taxed only if operations carried in India, any income arising out of that operation carried out in India will be taxed in India. Also, the non-resident will not be taxed under double taxation avoided agreement if the operations are carried outside India. This is These are the technical terms. In practical scenario, in example, let us take an example of Google, which is incorporated outside India. Let's assume that it's incorporated in US, it doesn't have any permanent establishment in India. Google is providing online advertisement facilities to various entities or business customers in India as its business is carried outside India all the income arising out of such operation will not be taxed in India as Google is a non-resident it doesn't have any permanent establishment also the business is carried outside India will not be not at all taxed in India Google will be taxed only in US as per the relevant tax rate of US. But there are many international tax transactions which do not get taxed at all, even a single time. How? This is possible through a tax heaven countries. What is tax heaven countries? The countries which have 0% income tax rate is called as tax heaven countries. Most of the MNCs which wants to save tax or avoid tax, they open and register incorporate a company in tax heaven countries and provide service from that corporate uh, from the uh, tax heaven countries. When they providing business on online advertisement facilities to India, the specific services to India, as the operations are carried outside India, it doesn't have any permanent establishment in India, it will not be taxed in India. As it's registered in tax heaven country, it will not be taxed, not at all taxed in the country which in it registered also. So, the, tra the business transaction not at all taxed in India as well as in the country in which it's registered. This international transaction got escaped from taxation. There is a, organ there is a co uh, community called the organization organization for economic cooperation and development oecd india also is a member of that group has decided to frame a mechanism through which no international tax transaction should remain untaxed for this purpose only they have brought into the concept of equalization because of equalization levy uh, Google, Facebook, all other online advertisement pro service providers, those who are providing specific services to any other Indian entities, even though they doesn't have any permanent establishment in India, will be taxed under equalization levy. The main concept behind the introduction of equalization levy is to tax the income generated through providing specified services to Indian entities by a non-president who doesn't having any permanent establishment in India but carrying business operations outside India. That's the main reason. The income generated from a specified service by providing specified service to an Indian entity should be taxed if the non-president doesn't have any permanent establishment in India. That's the main reason.
Thank you all for watching this video. For more updates, kindly follow our page CA Medha Kendra. Thank you.